Here we have an excellent application of solving 3D problems using trigonometry and that is how the height of most of the cliffs has been measured. We will refer to the diagram given here. This is kind of a cliff whose height is CD and AB are the points on the ground. right? And now let's read the problem related with the figure and try to understand the situation. To measure inaccessible heights of a cliff, surveyors measure a baseline AB, which is here, angle of elevation and, so angle of elevations are angles when you are looking upwards, that's in the vertical plane, so that's 35 degrees, angle of elevation and angles which these points make with the base of the cliff, base of the cliff is at C. So angles with these two points make with the base of the cliff are shown here as 40 degrees and 62 degrees. Figure on the right shows all measurements. Find the height of the cliff nearest to meter. That is the question. So we need to find the height CD of the cliff, right? So what we know about the situation is that two points are selected on the ground. So you can always measure the distance between the two points. In this case, it is 100 meters. Then if you need to find the height of a cliff, then look at a point which is vertically down on the ground for the cliff. And from these two points, find the angle which it makes with the baseline. So those angles are given here as 40 degrees and 62 degrees. So we do these measurements. And then the last measurement is done of an angle of elevation from one of the points to the cliff top, right? So that is 35 degrees. Knowing this, we can always find the height of the cliff. How? That is the question for you. So solve this triangle and find height h of the cliff. Now let's try to understand how to solve this triangle. Now in this particular triangle, we know two sides. I mean, we know two angles with included side. So we can always find the other two sides using sine law, right? So what is this angle? The third angle has to be 180 minus 40 minus 62. So we can get this angle. So let's find that angle first. And we say angle ACB equals to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees minus 62 degrees, right? Sum of the three angles for a triangle is always 180. So we get 180 minus 40 minus 62 and we get 78 as our answer so this is 78 degrees that is the first step now we know one ratio which is angle and side now with that we can find both the sides correct so what are what is the relation since we need to find the sides let's write these sides as ac over angle opposite to AC, which is 62. So sine of 62 is equals to BC over sine of 40 degrees should be equal to AB, which is 100 over sine of 78 degrees. Correct. So from here, we can find both AC and CB. In this case, since we know the angle of elevation 35 degrees in the triangle ADC, AC is a must to find. So let's find AC first. Or well, the only thing which we need to find to solve this particular problem. Okay, So we get AC equals to 100 times sine 62 divided by sine of 78. So that gives us the side AC, right? So let's calculate this answer, which is 100 times sine of 62 divided by sine of 78, which is equal to 90.26, right? So at present, we'll keep it two decimals. We'll round it at the end to the nearest of meter, okay? All dimensions are in meters. So we know AC. So AC is... 90.2 let me write 90 here 90 meters now if you know now look at the triangle 
ACD. Now, triangle ACD, I wrote C first, so let me write CAD. The triangle CAD is a right triangle. I should have written ACD. C is the angle in between, which is 90 degrees. Anyway, it's one and the same thing. So, in a right triangle, use trigonometric ratios. Since you need to find the opposite side, you know the adjacent. So, Katoa, tan is the right option. Perfect. So, tan of 35 is equals to what? Opposite side is H divided by the adjacent side, which is AC, right? So, from here, you can get height H. So, height is equals to AC, which is 90.26 times tan of 35 degrees. So it is, we already have 90.26 in the calculator times tan of 35 degrees. Gives us the answer as 63.2. Right, so we'll round this to the nearest meter, which is 63. So we get our answer as 63 meters. Right, so that is our answer. So height of the cliff, we can write down here as the answer. That the height of the cliff will be. is approximately 63 meters, right? So, I hope you understand how to solve these 3D problems. Well, this is a very practical and good example to understand the concept. So first, you solve your acute angle triangle using sine law. Once you find its sides, then solve the vertical right angle triangle using primary trigonometric ratios and get the answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.